freshwater scarcity, um, it's not just a South African thing, it's a global thing. So essentially, uh, there are significant pressures worldwide on water resources and not just in South Africa. We're now on the verge of water bankruptcy in many places with no way of paying the debt back. The consequences for regional economic and political stability will be serious. That speaks to the old notion that one day we might be fighting wars over water. You can't really look at the water solution in isolation. I think at the end it's going to be a hybrid of a whole range of things. Basically what the city of Cape Town has decided that it needs to limit the water demand to 500 megalitres per day during the drought period when there is no water. To avoid phase three, they need about 660 odd million rand to put 200 million, uh, 200 megalitres of water in the system. Uh, the other option we have would be to look at wastewater reclamation. So this means we take the wastewater, we add some additional treatment to be able to reintroduce it to our aquifers. The benefits of recharging our aquifers is that it's buried underground, so it's not going to evaporate. Reclamation is not necessarily also a new thing. The Water Research Commission has been doing studies since the 70s into reclamation. I think any any conversation about desalination needs to be seen within the context of the scarcity of water. Um, had it not been for the fact that fresh water is increasingly in short supply, we would not be talking about desalination. I think too often we think of desalination in terms of uh, a drought response. I think it's much more than that.